welcome back to another video. Uh, this week we have got for you a, um, a T6 um, transporter. Um, I've been, um, I've, I've got rid of my uh, the T6.1 that was loaned to me, and uh, I've, I've exchanged it for this one. So um, this one um, has been kitted out with the uh, later van spoilers, the wheels, the the. Um, side bars the roof bars um and it's also been lowered as well uh, now they're giving me this one because the gold one that i did in my last video um is, is going into all the work done to it um still wait for my vehicle i'm sure the uh the uh, vw army out there are well aware of the uh, issues that uh, vw have in a minute um i was promised mine back uh what was it august time um now um, I'm being told it's going to be sort of March next year so um, I'm being given these uh, vans um, as, as, as a loan vehicle my mine's already later van have been great um, the, whole, the whole process uh, it's been quite painful uh, waiting for it but um, I'm, I'm getting to experience all the T5 models which is quite good um, this uh, is the so the T5 uh, Imodium Grey I think it's called a long wheelbase um, I just kind of wanted to just take you through of the, the differences between my um, gold T6.1 that I had on the last video and this uh, T6. Um, they are huge, huge differences to me. Um, firstly, um, I think that the big wheels and the suspension don't do it any favours. I think it's quite a hard drive. Um, the model I'm picking up next is a T6.1 with all the kit on, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing how much difference they are. Now this is a 150 PS, the gold one I had was a um, sort of copper bronze, let's say, was a 150 PS, but this seems so much more sluggish. Um, working through the gears, I'm putting my foot down, it's taking a bit to think about it. All the all the gripes you have with um, auto auto um, auto boxes, but I don't thought the DSGs weren't like this, but this is, um, uh, yeah, this proves to, th th this has kind of made me think, have I made the right choice lowering it, putting all the bits on? Um, yeah, who knows? So I'll get the T6. I'll do the next video and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you through it all. But uh, this is uh, so. This is the uh, T6 model. So you'll see inside. It's got um, so they put all the leather seats in it and everything. It's really, really wet today. So apologies today. I'm just uh, I'm just in between work and other bits of bobs. So you can even see my pack lunch on the on the chair. So um, yeah, I'm just. Um, uh, I'm just going to drop this off at uh, later to pick the other one up. So my next video will be the T6.1. I'm being told that it's solid grey, um, but that has changed in the past. So I've been to pick a white one up and I've, I've come out in a silver one. But we'll, you will see what happens with it. Um, with the interior, it's really wet. <laughs> so uh, just getting here. Whoa, out the uh, out the weather. You can see how wet it is out there. Yeah, like I say, in inside it's um, it's really different uh, when I first got in here it, I felt that I was going back 20 years um, uh, from the T6.1 to this but I have got used to it I do kind of prefer it now with the comfort dash um, I'm quite excited about the T6.1 whether they'll have a comfort dash coming out I'd imagine um, as soon as they become um, quite a popular van everyone's gonna be um, sort of putting their influence on it really but um, yeah um, the main difference i felt is that the this seems quite flat um as in the t6.1 it's quite angled to you um people may love that people may hate it but in preference i prefer the t6.1 um uh so yeah the leather seats um they're really really nice really really good leather later have done a great job on it really um the cup holders i can't lie the t6.1 they've got the cup holders here um i I use one of these these for every day, and I put it into um, my cup holder. It, it doesn't really stay when you're in the van; it, it kind of topples over, and it can be quite annoying. Um, but the, little things really. Uh, still comes with a bin, which is great. Um, the boys, uh, so I've said before, I've got uh, two year, uh, six year old twin boys. Uh, they love these vans. They absolutely love them. It's the old. That's all they talk about is daddy's van. Because they get in it, they can play around. Um, we can get access through the back. Um, the problem is that they leave the switch on, which is the lights. 
So we get it at night, we lock it, these lights stay on. So I might have a word with Leighton, see if we can get the lights to come on with the main interior lights. Um, loads of space in here. Um, uh, like I say, um, I've just been um, down, to, uh, De uh, down to Devon, so we've been had the surfboards in here. We've had um, wetsuits just lying around. And these seats just suck everything up. It's, you know, it's no problem for these. Um, the boys were they sat here with the, the wetsuits that were drenching, drenching wet. Um, and an hour later, it was fine. It was, it was fine to go in to sit in, uh, ready for dinner at night. Now, um, same again, electric doors, which is an absolute godsend. Um, another wet day, as you can see, I said earlier on the video. Um, electric sliding doors again, uh, which is good in one spot, but bad in the next spot. Though, um, I usually leave uh, for work about four o'clock in the morning just to get to the various sites across the UK that uh, I service. Um, when I put my bag in the back, uh, four o'clock in the morning, uh, from the key, it beeps like beep, beep, beep. So the neighbours have said, look, can you please um, open it, open it up uh, without the beep. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, coming into the back, um, I think it's locked actually. Wow. Um, so coming into the back, uh, it is, uh, it's a long wheel base. Um, I'm always really nervous because it's a see-through top. You can see, you see right to my tools. Um, so I only take what I need as and when. So um, they, um, loads of space in here. Really, really glad I've gone for long wheelbase, um, and really glad that I've gone for later because they they do make it so so nice in here. You know, with the this sort of uh, Alcantara look top um, and lights. Um, there's also lights underneath the boot, which is to these ones here. They turn on, turn off. Um, and there's a little switch here that gets these lights on, which took some figuring out, but I now I know, so that's cool. Um, nothing more really to say. Um, I'm gonna get out of this, this wet and take the van back now, but I just thought I'd, I'd just uh, touch base with you. Um, as I say, this channel um, is purely um, based on um, my life as an electrician, uh, my life into owning uh, VW, um, I've, I've, I've wanted to own a VW for a long, long time. Searched various models and now I've, I've gone with it. Um, I've plowed my money into it. Uh, I just wanted to take you along for the journey. So um, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.